Hello there fellow model makers and welcome to the fourth and last part of my hand painting guide. I am working on this Italeri 148 scale Hawker Hurricane Mark 1. We have painted the kit and applied the decals. Once the decals had conformed to the surface properly, I gave the kit another coat of gloss varnish. Time now to start with some weathering. I had used this USA flat brown for the camouflage. For the weathering, I pick a shade of brown just a tad lighter. In this case, wood from Vallejo Model Air. If you don't have a lighter brown, just add a few drops of white to the base color you have used and it will work just as well. I now use a fine tip brush and start chipping. I focus on areas that I feel were likely to see more wear and tear. The areas around the engine where the mechanics would have worked, the wing roots and the area around the cockpit. Also, I try to keep the chipping along the panel lines. I find this gives a very realistic looking effect. To enhance the chipping, I use a sponge and add some fine chipping around the chips I created with the brush. This sort of builds up on the effect. For the green camouflage, I use gunship green, which is a little lighter than the base of camouflage green. The chipping process remains the same. Some fine chips with the brush and then building up the effect with the sponge. For adding metallic chipping, I am using Liquid Chrome by Molotov. It is a nice bright color that will show through even after we apply the wash. Just a reminder, large parts of the hurricane were covered with canvas, so don't add metallic chipping in these areas.
for the wash i am using these two oil paints a black and a brown i dilute these with some turpentine the wash is then liberally applied all over the kit I let the wash dry for a bit. Since this is an oil wash, I let it sit for about an hour and then wipe the wash away with a paper towel. The same wash is used for the duck egg green parts of the underside. However, for the black wing, I use buff diluted with turpentine. Once the wash is dry, I give the kit a coat of matte varnish. I will now use some oil paints to brush on the smoke stains, starting with the black. Now, after moistening the brush with some turpentine, I start removing the extra black paint till I'm satisfied. Once I'm happy with the overall look, I take a soft round brush and blend in the oil paint. I add, remove and blend the black oil paint till I'm satisfied. I use a Q-tip to wipe away any unwanted smudges. Since I'm using oil paints, this is fairly easy to do. Next, I add some white. I repeat the process, only this time I try and stay inside the previous black smoke stain. I add some more discoloration around the wing roots with some yellow oil paint. Here is the final result. Some more streaking on the underside of the aircraft as well.
I use a black soft pastel to paint the stains from the machine guns and the spent casing ejection slots. For the black side of the wing, I use a white soft pastel. I now cut and clean the parts for the propeller assembly. I paint the blades black with this black primer, simply because it's quicker. You can paint them with a brush just as easily. The parts are now glued together. I now paint the spinner with duck egg green. As always, diluting the paint with water and then applying multiple coats. I take some black paint and clean up the propeller assembly. The tips are now painted yellow. The propeller was given a coat of gloss varnish and I now apply the decals. Once the decals were set, I added some chipping using a sponge. I now use Tamiya's black panel line wash.
Once dry, the wash is wiped away using a Q-tip moistened with odorless thinner. I now cut, clean and glue all the landing gear parts. The landing gear struts have to be glued together. In order to ensure that the pieces glue together at the correct angle, I temporarily fix them in place in the wheel wells. I now apply some glue and let it cure. Remember, I am not gluing the pieces to the wheel wells. I am just using the positioning holes to ensure that the struts glue at the correct angle. The parts are now painted. Once the paint was dry, I gave the parts a coat of gloss varnish and then applied some Tamiya panel line wash. Once dry, the extra wash was wiped away with a Q-tip and a brush moistened with odorless spirit. Finally, the tires are painted black. I used this elastic rigging by Make for the antenna wire. And here it is fellow model makers. My hand painted Italeri 148 scale Hawker Hurricane Mark 1. I hope you enjoyed the video series. Please keep the comments and the likes coming as it encourages me to do more such beginner's guide videos. Do not forget to subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon for notifications. Till next time, good luck, stay safe and happy model making.